Baby, you don't know what you do to me Between me and you, I feel like chemistry I won't let no one come and take your place Cause the love you give, you can't What's up you guys, it's your girl Jilly and today I am doing a cooking with me video slash a Q&A. You already know you guys are so nosy. So I was going to make dinner tonight and I was like why not film it? It's been a minute since I've done a cooking video and a Q&A. So I let you guys ask me anything. I put it on my Instagram for you guys to ask me questions and I'm going to answer them. So as you see, I already have my water boiling and without further ado, let's get it started. Okay, so today I'm gonna make some chicken parmesan ziti. I already have my water boiling. I'm going to start off with boiling my noodles and answering questions. Okay, so the first question on the list is, when is the next song dropping and can I be in the video? <laughs> the next song is actually dropping next month. Let me set my timer so I don't let these noodles overcook. I am actually shooting a video this weekend here in Houston, Texas for my next single. I am dropping it in November. I think I'm gonna come the second week of November, so stay tuned. We coming back to back, and if you haven't watched New Sick, go ahead and, you know, click right there. Click it and watch it. Get it right, King Love, we are here for the night. I probably look crazy dancing with the night. Um, let's see, when are you dropping an album and doing a meet and greet? Preferably in Dallas. Ooh, in Dallas. What's up, Dallas? D-Town. What's up, Dallas? Hmm. Um. That definitely all depends. What's up, Dallas? Yeah, that's right down the street. You already know. Um, shit. Tag your promoters. Tag your, your people in the city. I would love to come out there and do that. Let's see, what do we have? What inspired you to make a cookbook and a perfume? My cookbook's right there, by the way. Boss Babe. This Boss Babe can cookbook. Make sure you order that as well. It has the best Creole recipes in it. Creole Cajun recipes. As y'all know, I'm Creole. Um, shit, like 90% of my family's from Louisiana. The other part is from the Netherlands. So cooking is really in our blood and our heritage. Um, yeah, and Really what inspired me was my mom, my grandmother, my dad, all of them love to be in the kitchen. Literally, everybody has just flavor and be cooking up a storm. As y'all have already seen, all the holidays, all we do is cook, eat, laugh, drink. Did I say cook? Did I say eat? Did I say laugh? And did I say drink? <laughs> yeah, that's all we do. So, you know, really what inspired me is just growing up with my family who loves food, who loves cooking and really for us like cooking was always like our bonding you know time so that's really what inspired me to make it because it was really just second nature and over quarantine I was cooking all the time and my boyfriend actually suggested it like you know you should do a cookbook first I was like hell no I'm 20 I was 24 when I did the cookbook I'm 24 like I'm not gonna do a cookbook right now that sounds so old lady and he was like no nah, you should really think about it so I was like, you know what? Why not? It's quarantine, ain't got shit else to do. So that's how it came about and definitely inspired by my family. And what inspired you to make the perfume? Ooh, the perfume. Cause you know, your girl always smell good, look good, taste good. <laughs> um, the perfume was just another, another walk into my endeavors of entrepreneurship. You know, really just, it just went with who Jilly is. It definitely went with, you know, who I am. I'm really big on my scent and people always, always ask me, what are you wearing? What perfume are you wearing? And I, I got tired of telling people other people's perfume. So I was like, you know what? I'm wearing my shit. I'm wearing my stuff. And that's how it really came about. Open a restaurant in Houston with your recipes, call it Gammy's. Haha, <laughs> that would actually be cute. I don't know if I want to open a restaurant, but you know, that would actually kind of be cute one day. Gimme's, that's a good name, whoever said that. Uh, what do you eat on a daily? How do you maintain your body? Ooh, good question. On a daily, um, for me, it's really just, mm, what, what do I eat? Shit, what do I eat? Um, I eat 
pretty much anything. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. It's really all about working out, which is funny, which is funny because that's the next question on here. How did you tone up while eating such yummy food? Do you count calories? No, I don't count calories. But for me, it's all about balance and portion control. So, and working out. I can't even lie to y'all. That's really my key. If y'all follow me on Instagram, y'all see how much I be on that Peloton. That Peloton is my baby, okay? Really be on that Peloton. And that's really why I can eat what I want because, you know, I work out. It's all about balance. To answer your question, what do I eat on a daily? Yeah, pretty much anything. Y'all see I cook all the time. Everything I cook, I eat. Like I said, it's all about portion control. I eat everything that I cook, and I like to cook comfort food. So yeah, I do eat a lot of vegetables as well. Try not to eat too late at night. Will I do a what do I eat in a day video? Yeah, I could do that for you guys one day. I'm gonna have to eat clean. When are you coming back to North Carolina in New York? Ooh, snap. The second y'all promoters book me. I am so ready. That would be so much fun. I definitely want to get that going. Shit, in my latest post, go tag y'all's promoters and go run it up. You already know the deal. Definitely want to get back out there and see y'all. Why are you so beautiful? Oh, my mama and my daddy, my mama and my daddy, my mama and my daddy. 20 minutes later. Yeah, that's the, that's the answer for you. You always look so happy. Do you feel happy most days? Ooh, that's a good question. Absolutely not, not happy most days. Um, well, no, I am happy most days, but I do have my days. Human, um, we all go through shit, but I just choose to go through my shit behind closed doors, you know? Um, everybody deals with things differently, and I just choose to spread love and happiness. That's why, you know, when I am online, I am very, I'm a happy person in general. So, you know, when I'm online, I'm just being me, but I just choose not to share, you know, sadness. So if I always look happy, thank you. I'm gonna take it as a compliment. Nastiest place you've done it. Done it. Like it? it? Oh, hell no. I thought y'all was asking like PG questions. See, see, this is why I stopped doing this. <laughs> That's none of your damn business. On to the next. Favorite nail color. Ooh, that's hard. Lately, I've been experimenting. Mm, I love a nude. I am a go-to nude girl. Nude is my thing. You can literally never go wrong with nude nails. I also like French. I love French nails. I love um, color too. Damn, you're like, what's your favorite color? <laughs> Not colors. <laughs> um, yeah, it's kind of hard. If I have to pick like one, every day, I would probably end up going with nude. Classic nude, like a bubble bathish nude color. That would definitely be my go-to color. And white on my toes, white always on my toes. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. I probably haven't changed my, my toe color in like, I don't even know how long. That's how long it's been. What else y'all got? Favorite form of self-care? Definitely working out, hands down. Easy, easy answer. How did you and your hubby meet? We need all the details. Go watch the video. There's definitely a video on my YouTube channel. Right there, right here, yeah. Go watch that. That gives you all the answers that you wanna know. See, I told you I was nosy, but I already had you covered. Ideal date night. Ooh, I like that question. Honestly, anything my boo plans. I feel like that's the, definitely the ideal. But you know, anything that he plans that I don't have to plan. It's just always so special for me. How many kids do you want? I'm definitely gonna start off with two. I'm not an only child. I have my brother, so I definitely don't wanna have an only child. Definitely start off with two, and then we're gonna see after that because I haven't pushed it out yet. I don't know that pain. So ask me after kid number two. Then I'll come back with a real answer. Why don't you start your own foot page and get paid since people are posting for you? See, because I'm not interested in that. That's, a, that's not my thing. I don't have a foot fetish. And you know, I've seen that. I have so many feet pages on Instagram. It's actually so weird. So you know what? I'm not gonna start a foot page. If y'all happen to get my feet in any of my snaps, my pictures, my videos, congratulations. That's, that's my gift to you. That's, you can have it. <laughs> 
because I'm not going to start that. Not a question, but you're awesome and a hard worker and super pretty. Thank you. Work hard, play harder. So that's the motto right now. What's your skincare routine? Facials. Facials. I actually went through a period of time where I didn't know what the hell was going on with my skin. I was actually so frustrated. I was really getting angry because I'm like, what is going on? My skin has never been like this. And the answer was facials, honey. Facials, facials, facials. That is the best answer. I wash my face morning and night. Don't miss a day. Never, ever, ever go to sleep with makeup on. I don't care how tired you are. Oh, and lots of water. Drink lots of water. Speaking of, where's my water? thirsty noodles already let me turn off the timer next question oh shit the noodles talking about next question oh, burn the noodles what's the next question though favorite place to eat in houston i would definitely have to say carabas i grew up at Carabas, but definitely the original on Kirby. The other ones just ain't, they don't do it for me. But the original on Kirby, I grew up there. I had all my birthday parties growing up as a kid there. We would take the Hummer limos. My mom would, and dad would get us like the pink limos and we would be en route to Carabas all the time. And actually, funny enough, my parents actually got engaged there. So, Carabas on Kirby has a long history of just family ambiance. Favorite Drake song? Ooh, good question. Shit, that was hot. I'm gonna put my noodles back into this pan, less dishes for me, because now I'm gonna make my mix. So I let all the water out, putting them back. I'm going to Mix it with some tomato and Alfredo pasta sauce and my chicken that I just seasoned. A little salt. Just a little salt, don't hurt. Um, let's see. Oh, favorite Drake song. Um, I probably would say, ooh, that's so hard because delicious goes on and on and on and on and on. Um, shit. Fake love. When that song comes on, that's just my say it to my face. I've been down so long and look like up to me. They look up to me. Yeah, that is definitely a, a smash. Favorite vacation. Ooh, that is so hard. I have been so many places. Blessed to go travel the world. Literally, so many places. Um I don't know, it's like, I wish I was more specific because I could say tropical or I could say, you know, cold. I could say, I'd probably say just go with Europe and Spain. That was just such an unforgettable trip that it's definitely probably top two. And it ain't two. Yeah, that's a hard question. I just love to travel. I love the traveling vibes. Can you do an updated makeup routine, please? Absolutely, actually. That's funny that you asked that because makeup definitely changes. I know I haven't given y'all one of those in a minute and I'm pretty sure I don't even do my makeup how I used to. Someone said, what are your top three tips to develop self-confidence? Ooh, I actually like that question. My top three tips to develop self-confidence. My mom always told me growing up, if you're not feeling so well, you can't not feel well and not look well. So honestly, getting up and making myself, you know, getting dressed for me is definitely one of them. That's self-confidence is, you know, starting with yourself, just loving yourself, you know, finding beauty in yourself, not waiting, you know, for validation. That's just definitely an answer for me. I think I want more chicken in here. Let me get a little more chicken. Okay, got some more chicken. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Like I was saying, making yourself, you know, getting up and getting dressed for you, that's definitely a confidence booster. Um, working on things that I like to do, you know, things for me. I got back into music, that was something that was a confident booster for me, getting back to my first love, getting back to my passions, finding, you know, things that truly 
you know, bring that smile, reasons to wake up every day, you know. Um, I think that's the best way I could definitely put it. And the third one, for me, working out, feeling good. Working out is a very, very key component in my life because, you know, I work out not only to look good, but to feel good mentally, physically, spiritually, and it's just a healthier start to my day. So working out is definitely a big, big, big part of my self-confidence. Yeah, honestly, and developing my self-confidence. Hope that helps. What was the best moment that has happened this year? Ooh, the best moment that has happened this year. There's been so many. Um, blessed to, you know, have my family and just all of that. But I think two special moments for me was one, getting back to my first love, which was music. Putting out new safe, putting out the video, and really, you know, running with music again hard this time and not stopping. And then also the top of the year, my birthday. That was just the start to an incredible 2021. That, those were my top two moments of 2021 for sure. Let's see your nails. How often do you get them done? Ooh, let me see, can you see that now? I actually have a French, different color French. They're like different browns, kind of like fall colors. How often do I get them done? I get them done probably every week. <laughs> no, once, every week to like week and a half, definitely. You won't see your girl without her nails done. Mm -mm. That's one thing that I just, mm -mm, I don't do. I'm always have my nails did. Um, oh my God, y'all, I feel like the smell this is so good. And after I put it in this, dish i am then going to put it in the oven for a little bit i am going to layer it like lasagna with some cheese i'm going to layer it with parmesan mozzarella and some reaper pepper this just gives it a little i love like spicy i am a spicy girl okay how do you maintain high vibration positive positivity in your life prayer Keeping God number one, God first, and just positive thoughts. It's not always easy. It is not always easy, but you know, the more you work at it, the more you feed your brain positive energy, the easier it is. So definitely just happy thoughts. That goes back into actually like doing what feels good, that makes me feel good all around, which is again, working out. It makes me feel good spiritually, mentally, physically. You've lost so much weight, how do you do it? Funny enough, the funny thing about that question is so many people have asked me, how did I lose so much weight? Crazy enough, like I didn't even try to lose weight. I looked up one day and I lost like 15 pounds. It was actually crazy. But um, I think the biggest thing for me is I'm not gonna tell you, know, you to go on any crash diets because I don't do that. I just, again, balance maintaining um, I didn't even know I lost weight. I think it was more so, you know what I think it was for real? I haven't been doing as much weightlifting that I used to do. That's, I used to do incorporate like a lot of like weights when I did my squats and I don't do that anymore. So I honestly think that 15 pounds that I lost was all muscle and you know, you could definitely tell. So funny how everyone was like, oh my gosh. But yeah, I definitely think it was just, I do a lot more cardio than I used to sticking to cardio, putting down the weights. I definitely think that's what it is. Sprinkle a little basil. Can we get a, what do you eat in a day video? I think somebody asked that. I got y'all though, for real. Uh, I'll do that sometime this week. Actually, I have a video this weekend, but I'll do that sometime after. Cookies and cream or Napoleon? Definitely cookies and cream. Easy. Would you let me hug you if I meet you? <laughs> Coronavirus. Y'all, I'm so happy to be able to say coronavirus all the time. You know, it's just so crazy how like so much stuff that we didn't think about before is so germy. Um, you can wait, hey, a little air kiss, a little high low. But come on now, a hug, ooh, shawty. I gotta come home with my family, make sure we stay healthy, okay? Yeah, so we can do a little, a little air. Mwah, mwah from afar like <laughs> you know 
Yeah, let's just keep it like that. Let's keep it like that. Okay, so now, real quick, pause on the Q&A. I am about to stuff this with more cheese, not stuff, but sprinkle the top with more cheese, and then put this in the oven for like 20 minutes, and then I will come and try it for you guys. Then I will actually try it on camera. Someone was like, um, when I said I was gonna cook and do a Q&A, they were like, tell us how the food tastes, because I always post it on my Instagram story, but I never like, I always post a, just like an empty plate. So I guess like, I'll do like a, a MSR at the end. <laughs> no, but for real, yeah, I'll definitely let y'all know how this tastes. I actually have never made this recipe. I've been really into trying new recipes lately and so much fun. Literally, I haven't cooked the same thing in probably like a month. Find you a girl who can cook, honey. It's different over here, I'm telling you. It is a lot different over here, okay? And cooking is just so, it makes me, it feels so good. Okay, so this is, again, chicken parmesan ziti. I am so excited to put it in the oven. If y'all want a part two of the questions, we can definitely run it up again. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the oven and then taste it out for you guys as soon as it comes out. Oven time. I'll be back in 20 minutes. 20 minutes later. Okay, so I have my chicken parmesan ziti and I went ahead and spruced up a little bit of zucchini and squash you always need a good vegetable to go along with you know a little hearty dish that way you can like i said balance right got this over here whipping up but let me go ahead and try this for you guys like i said i would do okay let's see oh my gosh i wish y'all could smell this it's so good i'm gonna have to clean that up I didn't burn my mouth too many times eating food. I hate that feeling of like not being able to feel your taste buds after you done burn the roof, your tongue, everything. Mm. Oh my God. Mm. Mm. That's it. Mm -hmm. Let me know if y'all want this in the next cook cookbook. <laughs> Can't even talk. That's it. Oh my God. Okay. I'm about to plate the food. Make dinner for my family. Love you guys. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. More on the way. And new music next month. <laughs>